A couple of months ago, I opened this Linksys wireless router to see if I can install external antennas because I wasn't happy with the wireless range. What happened when my fingers touched the board, the electric discharge from my hand zapped the board. So I had to abort the whole mission and put it back together and after hours and hours of intensive testing, I realized everything worked fine except the internet port. So now that the internet port didn't work anymore, it made me wonder how I can still use this device. One way and my favorite way would be to use it as a repeater bridge. And I've already made a whole video about that. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. That is my favorite way. Another way would be to use it as an unmanaged four port switch. But before that, I need to make a couple of changes. I need to disable the DHCP server disable the SPI firewall and also disable the wireless network. I'm also going to change the IP address from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.2 because I want to connect it with an Ethernet cable to the main wireless router that has already taken 192.168.1.1. So now I'm going to connect two of my computers with Ethernet cables to the LAN interfaces of the wireless router, which is basically a switch now. And both of them are successfully connected to Internet. So now if I enable the wireless network, I will have myself an access point, which I can use to extend my wireless network. Just keep in mind this is not going to be a repeater, because it is connected with an Ethernet cable to the main wireless router, whereas a repeater connects wirelessly to the main wireless router. I also need to make sure that I enable wireless security for the wireless network and give it a proper password. Then I should be able to connect to the SSID and have access to internet. I think I learned a couple of things today. First, I can still reuse and recycle my old wireless router to improve my home network or office network by turning it into a switch, an access point or a repeater bridge. And it doesn't necessarily have to have a dead internet port like mine. And be a better person to the environment. I also learned how electrostatic discharge can damage electronics. And there are some precautions I should take before opening and working on any electronic device. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you again and I see you next time.